Looking at the results of the postal survey in uh, more detail offered some interesting analysis into the makeup of Australia. So there were only uh, 17 out of 150 electorates that voted no, but uh, 12 of those were in Western Sydney and nine of those uh, seats are held by Labor. And I immediately picked up on the fact, and so did everyone else, that uh, these electorates have uh, uh, large migrant populations, which uh, we already knew were largely opposed to uh, same-sex marriage. And so uh, it's, you know, even though the, the left, they were all celebrating yesterday, they, uh, I'm not sure if it's dawned on them that their uh, utopian vision of, you know, a multicultural society along with, you know, LGBT rights uh, has been shattered with the uh, results of this survey. Yes, um, for me, uh, being a believer in intersectionality, it makes perfect sense to uh, import, I'd probably say, half a million Muslims a year uh, into the country. I'd probably get them all from Iran and Saudi Arabia. And I think this will work really well, you know, with our loud and proud gay community. I think these um, migrant communities that love to hang in stone gays will really just love uh, the opportunity. No, it's silly. Uh, you look at this and you see clearly that uh, there is a lack of tolerance uh, with many, uh, let's say, you said migrant, I'll say Muslim. I don't care uh, what the ramifications of saying that is. Muslims are the most socially conservative group in the country. Now, you can look to the most Catholic, one of the most Catholic electorates in the country, the Mali, okay? It's about a 75% Christian, uh, nearly 80 highly conservative, they still voted 52% yes. Now, you look at some of these Muslim, uh, large Muslim minority electorates, um, some of them were in excess of 70%. Um, and this shows that, uh, that, that there's a clash of worlds here uh, between this utopian multicultural society uh, that the left uh, wants to produce uh, and these inclusive values, uh, they don't um, they don't work. There's no cohesion between the two. Uh, you can either have you know an accepting society that has a single culture, or you can have you know um, bigots and racists, uh, all this. Um, you, you can't have two. I think you, you, you to actually have a progressive society, you have to have a homogenous society. Uh, and that's shown there, um, yeah. Well, the reason why I said uh, migrant and not Muslim, yes, there are a lot of Muslims in Western Sydney, but there's also a lot of uh, Asians, more specifically Chinese, who are very uh, active in the, the no campaign. So that's why I, uh, I, I use that term. Obviously, um, you know, the, the Chinese community, they're no, they, you know, don't, you know, hate gay people and want to throw them off buildings like the, uh, the Muslims. But, yeah, certainly they they voted no as well. And it was interesting that uh, the, the left, the pretty much the next day after the results were announced, they were back to, uh, you know, wanting to bring all the men at Manus Island into Australia. And I pointed out, you just, you're, you're basically saying you want more no voters here. Yes, um, this, this is a rare time, Tim, when I acknowledge the, um, the apparent greatness of Islam. Because, I don't mean that, sorry. Uh, they, they do, in a sense, most Islamic people, most Muslims, they don't tolerate the, the degeneracy that is promoted by the LGBTIQA uh, radical Marxist left uh, and the safe schools mob. They, you know, they stick up for family values, largely. They believe in the, um, the marriage and how it's a sacred institution, man, woman, family, this is all very important. I think that a lot of this, um, this yes side, uh, it's well, well and good la da but I think it's going to ultimately end up in more state worship. But yes, uh, voting, no, interesting. You get Labor voters, but you also, at the same time, get more of a socially conservative 
uh, family values based society, if you are bringing in Asians, if you are bringing in Middle Easterns, uh, there's obviously a lot of problems, crime and whatever that will come in, but family values uh, less, but, but at the same time what the irony is with this family values is yes we love family, yes we love to be socially conservative, but also at the same time we are dependent on the state. Uh, so it is a big argument. That's why they vote Labor, is because they, they want to have their cake and eat it. They want to be uh, family values, but they also want all the goodies, all the chocolates coming in from the government. But um, it, but it is funny. Uh, this We're seeing a lot of uh, belief. The, uh, John Anderson, the uh, former Deputy Prime Minister, Nationals leader, said that we don't really have left and right. You were saying the left, the left, the left. We love to talk about the left. But I think at the moment what we have is people who care about facts, who care about logic, and those who care about idealism and feeling. And and obviously, the, those two worlds clash when you see the results uh, in electorates such as Tony Burke's. And uh, they also know the LGBT lobby uh, know who to thank for, you know, the resounding uh, yes victory, and that's the white people of Australia who are, you know, constantly demonised uh, all the time because it was, it, it was all the uh, electorates, we'd had a majority white population that uh, had the strongest yes votes, which included, as you mentioned before, uh, rural and regional Australia. There were only three uh, rural electorates in uh, Queensland that voted no. Uh, in our home state of Victoria, all the rural and regional electorates uh, uh, voted yes. So, you know, to to the left, you know, they're, you know, these so-called, you know, uh, uh, country, you know, rednecks, they're actually, you know, not as bad as uh, what you were making them out to be, and perhaps you should thank them. So what are you saying, Tim? This is a victory for uh, white supremacy and white power? Oh, <laughs> maybe it is. I mean, uh, look, uh, uh, I have people, a lot we, of people... We don't. We don't we, we, we're not for white supremacy. That was a joke. But it, but it's a, it's an ironic thing that the, the fact that this was a victory brought about because you know white people made it happen and it, and people said that oh this could be like uh, Brexit and Trump uh, well it was like Brexit and Trump in that white people voted for Brexit and Trump but they also voted for same sex marriage. Yeah, Tim, you know, it's an interesting one. If two blokes want to hook up with each other, you know, they should be just be left to it, I reckon. Um, yeah, that's why us country fellas uh, voted yes. Uh, I, I also made the uh, joke that perhaps uh, the, if they ever remade uh, Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, they might need to go to Western Sydney instead. <laughs> yes, you get uh, Muhammad and Ahmed to do it. <laughs> So it's it, it was because we if you look at the seats and it was more Labor seats that voted no and seventy one of the seventy six coalition seats voted yes which uh, it, it it does put the these Labor MPs such as Tony Burke Jason Clare uh, and uh, Chris Bowen in an awkward position but it has the same effect on coalition and, MPs yep. as well. It's I mean, everyone was, you know, quick to point out, you know, Tony Abbott's lecture voted overwhelmingly yes, so did, you know, Kevin Andrews, Peter Dutton, uh, Andrew Hasty. So uh, the, this result, it has turned, you know, people's political perce perceptions, you know, upside down. It is interesting, but also there's, there's another uh, thing here, is we've got a conscience vote on one hand, but it, how does our democracy work? Do we have a Birkin type democracy where the electorates vote the MPs in to um, espouse out their views in the parliament, or do we have a you know a Montesquieu uh, French Revolution uh, direct uh, democracy type uh, thing happening here, where what happens with the electorates, their direct voices are represented in parliament? So. There's an interesting thing. I, I, I don't reckon that Tony Burke, a uh, Labor frontbencher, will be voting no, even though the majority, 70% almost, I think, of his electorate voted no. He'll be voting yes. Uh, that shows how much uh, hypocrites Labor are 
They just use these migrants, and I think they've openly admitted it at times. Andrew Bolt, uh, Andrew Bolt, uh, Mark Latham uh, mentioned that on Andrew Bolt, uh, that they use uh, migrants as political props. And at the end of the day, they don't really give two hoots about the migrants as long as they're voting Labor, they're voting for bigger government, and they're voting for the welfare state. Ultimately, Labor does not care. This false dichotomy that the left cares is bullshit. They just use migrants, and we're seeing that here. Uh, whilst the right, on the other hand, wants a, you know, a ladder of opportunity, where migrants can start small businesses, where migrants uh, can be proud and industrious Australians. And, and I think that this, this is just a clear representation of what the two parties stand for. Uh, it is disgusting, really. Well, it'll be interesting because, uh, given they how they've all said they'll they'll vote yes, whether uh, you know there's any consequences for the at the next election because there there might it might be you know a few uh, conservatives in the Liberal Party or um, Australian conservatives who might be eyeing off those seats. Yeah, I, I think that um, the right. Uh, could potentially swoop into Western Sydney. They could look at these um, these changes here, especially in Western Sydney, being and the, and uh, Tony Abbott, I believe, won a few seats around the west of Sydney as well. They, you know, Tony's tradies they were referred to. You know, socially conservative family men who didn't really give pay much attention to uh, economics per se, but they just wanted the social fabric of Australia, the traditions, the institutions retained. They wanted to stop the march through the institutions uh, that the radical left is promoting. And I think that uh, we do uh, we do have some thorough brooding ground, us uh, right-wingers, us conservatives, us libertarians, uh, in the west of Sydney after seeing this result. We just need to realise uh, what what we need to say. We need to tailor it a bit better, and we need we need to espouse our family values um, uh, campaigning in these areas. And I think that we could, uh, as uh, people are of the right, uh, pick up quite a lot of seats in these areas. And it could be just showing, a, you know, a gradual maybe uh, shift in our uh, political and cultural landscape as well as we expected, say, the regions to be the most conservative. In fact, they were the most liberal. Uh, Shazza and Azavada Jess, um, whilst the inner city sophisticates uh, in the multicultural havens voted no. So it is... This has been an unshackled fast. Please like, comment and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.